Another test I want to do on this board um, is just to make an LED breathe, um, kind of like this. Um, and we can do that using the, uh, the PSOC PWM component. Um, so I'm going to start by making a new um, project. And I'm going to call this LED breathe. I'm going to start by placing um, the, uh, the, the LED that we're going to use is going to be a digital output. And I'm going to call it LED. And we're going to leave this hardware, um, this hardware connection because we're going to attach it to a PWM component. So we're going to search for PWM. And we could add one of these here. And we're going to open it up and do some configuration to it. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this underscore one. Um, and I'm also going to set it to be a single output. Um, I'm going to set our period to be 100. Um, and that's just arbitrary. And this initial compare value is going to be 50, um, which is, means the LED is going to be on for about 50% brightness. So it's going to be on for 50% of the time. It's going to look like 50% brightness. And my period is 100 because that's a convenient number. Um, you can use anything that is convenient for you. I'm just going to leave it at 100. And then I'm going to go ahead and wire, press W, and wire the PWM output to the LED. Um, PWM also requires a clock, so we can go ahead and add a clock. And I'll wire it to the clock input of the PWM. And then we're going to go over to pins, and we can assign our LED um, to be on pin 2-1. And then we'll just press this button to build it. And um, pressing build will translate um, all of this uh, hardware. This PWM is an actual hardware component inside of the PSOC um, that is uh, outputting uh, that square wave signal. So it's a, this is a piece of hardware that we can configure stuff for. And so it's translating it into the software that we can use to control it. So we'll open up our main.c and we'll start by doing pwm start. And if you don't know how to do this, you can, uh, you can open up the pwm and just click data sheet. And uh, a lot of this information can be found in the data sheet. Um, but uh, we're going to start with pwm underscore start. And then we're just going to make a function that, that, breathes, that breathes the LED. Um, so we need a couple of uh, variables here to do that. Um, so we're gonna, they're going to be integers. Um, so one of those variables, uh, you can kind of see where I'm going with this, but we're going to do one is called val, and the other one is called direction, or dir. So I have my value and my direction. And pretty much what I want it to do is it's going to do the PWM start, it's going to initialize it, and then in my while loop, basically we're just going to increase the value until it gets to 100, and then if it's 100, we're going to start decreasing the value. Um, so I can do some really basic implementation. I could just say, well, if my direction is equal to zero, then what I want to do is I want to increase the value. Okay. And then otherwise, that's, uh, otherwise my direction is going to be one if I want it to count downward. And if my direction is one, then we're going to decrease the value. All right. So we have, um, we have increasing and decreasing the value based on the direction. Um, one last thing that is missing is that this won't limit it. So direction is just equal to zero. It'll just keep going past 100. So we need to add a little limit here that limits it. So value, so uh, we're going to say if val is equal to, greater than or equal to 100, um, then we are going to just set direction equal to one. Uh, otherwise, if the value is less than or equal to zero, then, um, then we'll set the direction equal to zero. Or, uh, sorry, that's wrong, less than or equal to zero. All right, one last thing to go um, is we have this value, which is now changing between 0 and 100 evenly. It's zero, going between 0 and 100, and then it gets to 100, then it's reversing, going back down. Um, the last thing we have to do is we have to take this value, and we have to write it into the PWM. So we have to do PWM underscore write, compare, and then we're going to put the value, V-A-L. Um, we're just going to add a little delay at the end to it, um, so that way we can actually see this uh, breathing, otherwise it'll breathe really, really fast. So we're going to delay for like 20 milliseconds. Uh, I've tried this before, and that seems to be a safe number. So we'll just hit build. And um, once it builds, you can see um, on the actual PSOC, you can watch that uh, the LED on pin 2-1 breathing.